This video will show you how to use the new video editor in Edpuzzle. As you can see, I've already downloaded the extension Edit with Edpuzzle so that when I open my selected YouTube video, when I click on this button, I can automatically edit my video. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I have chosen a video about making hand sanitizers see, since it seems appropriate for this time. So I know that I are where I already want to cut my video and I'm so excited that in addition to being able to crop the front end and back end of the videos, you can also select portions of the video in the middle. This is a brand new feature that we've all been waiting for. So I've already watched the video and marked where I wanted or wrote down where I wanted to crop the video in the middle. So when I hit play, I'm going to go ahead and drag my slider to 33 seconds. Today we're going to talk about what everyone is talking about, coronavirus. And, and moreover, I'm and when I get to 33 seconds, create, create and make your own safe campaign. I'll hit pause. And then I'm going to click on add cut. Now, when I click on add cut, I'm going to drag the white slider that appears to the time 114. So here I'm going to click add cut. You don't dra drag the black line. You gra grab the white slider and you, I'm going to drag it to the time. Whoops. That didn't work out so well. Let's try it again. I'm going to grab the white slider. There we go. Till I see the time 114 because I want to get rid of that part of the video. Um, there's always an undo button if you miss the time. So I'm going to try to aim for 114 and then it's going to keep playing. And so now I know that my next time I'm going to cut is um, I'm going to start at 208. So I'm just going to see if I can hit pause so we don't hear the video and I'm going to drag this to 208. Okay, I'm almost there. So I'm just going to hit play so I can actually hit pause. Here we go. Pause. So now I'm going to add another cut from 208 to 217. I'm going to hit add cut. And I'm going to drag this little white slider guy to 214. And you can see that whole section disappearing. I can go back and forth if I miss it. Almost there. I could out. There we go. That should be good enough. Okay. And then I know that I'm going to play out the video till 425. So the idea is okay. And rather than playing it, again, I could drag the black slider all the way to 425. Come on. To 425. Because that's the part I want it to play until. And when I get to 425, I'm going to hit pause. I'm almost there, so I'm going to let it play. And, if you are and hit pause. Off of hand and now I'm going to hit add cut because now I'm going to cut off the last part of my video. So when I hit add cut, once again, I'm going to drag the white slider all the way to the end of the video and the black slider will go along with it. So when I'm done, I'm just going to hit finish, even though it saves automatically. Um, at this point, um, I can click finish if I can, um, if I'm not ready to add questions or a voiceover, and that's for another video. Hope this helps. Enjoy the new feature.